We are sending some learners at the universities. Then, as I have communicated, 29 families are getting family support. These come and receive some little money to help in their families. And, and of course, we have to account for these monies because Mrs. Najimana actually she is our chief finance officer. In the past, we built more than 20 homes for the meeting. These homes will ensure each home has a kitchen, each home has a toilet, and each home has a water tank. Of course, as I said, its aim is to improve the livelihood <coughs> of these people. Mm -hmm. Then we pay all medical bills for the children that we cater for. That's why in the committee we are able to, to see Sister Kato. We have Mr. Pontius. These learners that we help, if one is sick, it is together from Uganda to cater for all the medical bills. We've built a new maternity ward. Mr. Pontius can bear witness. We've renovated the lab. We've also worked on the new NATO ward, which has been quite expensive for this organization. Then we have another program, which is manned by Sister Kato. It is called <coughs> Hope Clinic, where orphans go together with the needed to get help they are being fed, they are being supported on weekends. So most of these committee members, they are not seated. Like this work is for Sister Kato. She has to ensure that it becomes a success. Then, of course, these ones are given tea, break, and, and we also talk about, about basing on the domestic problems. Then, under Motori Primary School, in our neighborhood, we've constructed for them a kitchen and a dining. Oh, great. And on top of that, in this school, we are feeding 150 children from extremely poor families. We, we visited some of these homes as I told you. A, a parent sends a child to school with nothing, but we, a parent expects the learner to study. We, we realized, according to our means, we realized we can only support at the moment 150. These ones go to school and have lunch there and study up to evening. Then when it comes to St. George, we've renovated a block, we've renovated four dormitories, we've distributed furniture, one classroom block, we've renovated and constructed bathrooms, toilets, and we have also established a new school library. If you happen to go to that school, St. George, we have a new library to enable these learners <coughs> go there and research. Then Kagera Primary School, one time we visited this school, it was in Shambles. I one time went there personally. I found the learners studying under a leaking roof. This was so disheartening, it, it, it really embarrassed us. So we renovated for them two classrooms. Then those of you who take this route to Matinza, I think you've seen a change at Lambora. Mm -hmm. <coughs> we, we renovated for them two classroom blocks. Actually, we also distributed for them a water tank. A water tank. But remember, as all these things that we do, we work as a team. <coughs> then, in the the Parish Vocational Center, uh, which Father has been talking about, we, we are behind that kitchen, the dining, and the, the organization has also distributed ICT uh, laptops in the computer lab. Then, St. Gertrude's, we, we have um, a block that was constructed, senior one block. The organization installed solar. In case power goes off, learners keep reading. That is part of improving the livelihoods. Then, St. Paul's Motorele, Mr. Headmaster, we are behind that solar that you see in the library. Mm. It's yeah, together for the mm. yeah. Just in case power goes off, learners shouldn't go to bed. Mm. Let them go and study. We also provide scholastic equipment like laptops to the toilet. And uh, now we have also renovated this weekend. Uh, then the uh, other projects, as I conclude, we have bought a new house in Gasiza. We bought a new house in Gasiza. We, we bought a house in Gasisa to help families that live there temporarily as we build for them homes. We normally receive 
families that have nowhere to sleep. Based on different problems, you find uh, some children have lost parents. Mm -hmm. Now the grandparents are saying, get out of the house. They are chasing away the children who are innocent because they have lost their parents. Mm -hmm. We normally mm -hmm. pick these ones, have them in the house in Gassiza for some time as we construct for them the house. And on top of that, we have to feed them. Then, of course, our bookkeeping is constantly monitored by the German Ministry of Finance so that those, contrib for, so that those contributing tax get so that those contributing this money get a tax deduction. This is by the government of Germany. Okay? If, if they capture these funds, they have to make sure they deduct it in tax. So that everything we are doing is in the right shape. Then in the 20 years of our existence, we have no complaints that have been registered so far. And our funds are properly used and documented. Our group, which comprises of nine members, works without personal gains. And allowances. Members who don't earn money. You are like us. Don't, don't, don't say <laughs> Brian is the chairperson. Mr. <laughs> Fox is yes, in the committee. Yeah. These people are getting a lot of money. We are just volunteering. Oh, good. And the, another thing that you have to know we don't have any religious affiliation. If we are paying school fees, if someone is a Muslim, if someone is a Protestant, mm. Orthodox, mm. you come to help based on our means. So we don't discriminate. As I conclude, Mr. Headmaster, I hope your students will enjoy their stay at school and have a restful time in our new dormitory. Mm. God bless you. Mm. So allow me to invite Sister Kato to read for you a brief message from Germany. Mm. Unfortunately, I won't be able to join the celebration. <coughs> Maybe you will be able to read out the greeting and goes. Dear Brian, dear section Torene, all members of Together for Uganda Germany are delighted that the work on the Don Crescent Forest Secondary School has been completed so quickly. Mm -hmm. Please convey our thanks, everyone involved in this project at the official handover of the dormitory and school. Especially important was the support of Mrs. Walter Bretman and our local volunteers from together from Uganda section authority made by Brian Bekunda. As well as the good cooperation with the engineers and the school management, without whom the realization of this project would not have been possible. We hope, we hope that the pupils who will move into this dormitory will feel at, at home here. May this measure to improve the school infrastructure make a contribution to the further development, to the further development of the school. We look forward to seeing you in October. And our syllabus. We look forward to seeing the positive development for our syllabus during our next visit in October 2024. Greetings from and we are making chairperson together for Uganda, Germany. Uh, uh, we are going to have a from our room. Then we proceed to the school. So it's so my senior of prayers to invite our team to Thank you.
Chief guest, Chairman and Board, members of BOG present, members of Together for Uganda, Chairperson PTA, members of staff, students, leaders present, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, receive our warm greetings in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Permit me to most profoundly approach Together for Uganda management for earning us another pride by refurbishing another dormitory, namely Kongo, the Hill dormitory. You know, all you could have heard that in the Kora House was also innovated. In a special way, we thank Mrs. Davinda Gijimama and her team for championing the struggle to have this project completed within the shortest time possible. Together for Uganda has done quite many visible things for the school. Talk of the four, four water tanks, computers in the lab, projectors, solar electricity, etc. Their support to this school cannot be underestimated. Dear members, words cannot express our pleasure with Together for Uganda. Only God knows the magnitude of our pleasure. This is an organization that has always been supportive to our cause in bad and good. The idea of renovating the Congo stroke the Ire dormitory emanates from December 2022. I had just joined this school as a new head teacher without knowing it together for Uganda and its value to this school. I had come to be received by the board members. Then in a meeting, members talked about together for Uganda and what it has done for the school. Something came into my mind and I said, let me listen, another savior may be here. I listened carefully. People talked about projects of the school funded by Together for Uganda and were successfully completed. We continued our meeting, but having seen the enormous contribution made by Together for Uganda to this school, members realized that only writing a letter of appreciation and handing it over to Mrs. W. Gijman as earlier done, would not be enough. Then we passed a resolution that a team of BOG members led by the chairman Bob missed her physically at her home of residence, which was done. On this note, uh, therefore, permit me once again to most sincerely thank the chairman Bob and Dr. Habakuya Vian. They were able to read the team well because the idea of refurbishing this dormitory was generated there and then. He says that Wurinda Gijumana tasked us to look for an appropriate project for the school to be funded by Together for Uganda. When I consulted the staff, they all unanimously agreed upon renovation of Kong dormitory as the proposed project to be funded by Together for Uganda. This proposal was forwarded to, Mr. Da to Mrs. Dawriyo Ndagishimana, who immediately welcomed the project, thereby requesting the engineer to make bills of quantities, which was done, and sooner than later, works in regard to renovation of the same house commenced. When I, uh, when I now look at both Kong and Nicholas houses, I realize that there is a good running atmosphere in the school. This coupled with other good practices which I have initiated, I see no reason why a parent with other good practices which we have initiated uh, should miss an opportunity of having his son studying from this school. On this same note, permit me once again request together for Uganda to reconsider sponsoring students and study from here. We promise you to maintain a good discipline of the runners and shall even 
continue working very hard to uplift academic standards of the school. Unite and work with our motto. Thank you very much for listening to me. Innocent. Shit, you can say innocent. You think you're not going to be good?